Let's take a closer look at the sensors you can connect to the Citrans LT500. Whether it's radar or ultrasonic, you have the freedom of choice to select which technology you would connect to the LT500, including any 4 to 20 milliamp type input, which can be scaled to level. On the ultrasonic side, that's geared towards our more traditional environmental applications, areas with severe mechanical conditions like vibrations or impact, or anywhere that you would need a self-cleaning sensor. On the radar side, we can get into longer ranges. It's more suited towards solids. We can do non-intrusive measurement on plastic totes or tanks. Anywhere where you have strong vapors and liquids, applications with vacuums, or in CO2 environments. We have the Citrans LR110 radar device, which is an 80 gigahertz transmitter for applications up to 15 meters with an eight degree beam angle. We have the LR120 radar device, which is also 80 gigahertz up to 30 meter range with a four degree beam angle. And we have the Probe LU240, an ultrasonic transmitter for up to 12 meter range with a self-cleaning face and a 10 degree beam angle. These are the sensors that you can connect directly to our LT500, which are supported and provide full transparency of diagnostics, echo profile viewing and configuration. We can also connect any four to 20 milliamp device, which can be scaled to level, whether it's pressure, laser, another radar device. And from there, do all of our pump control, data logging, and alarm management. So for the milliamp heart version of the Citrans LT500, these are the different sensor types that we support. On the ultrasonic side, starting with the XRS5, which is an eight meter range transducer with a 10 degree beam angle. The Echomax series are 10, 15, and 30 for up to 30 meter range with either a six or a 12 degree beam angle. The STH up to 12 meters with a 12 degree beam angle, which can also be fitted directly into a process connection. Our complete legacy suite of transducers all the way back to the original supply that we have ever created out of the factory are all supported by the LT500, as well as any four to 20 milliamp device. Again, could be pressure, could be a radar device, uh, anything that could be scaled to level. Uh, can go into the ultrasonic version as well. So those are our supported sensors on the ultrasonic side. Okay, just looking quickly at that legacy support, I mean, not gonna go through the whole list, but you can see it here. Every single transducer that we have ever manufactured is supported by the LT500. Okay, looking closely at some of the transducer options that we have, I mean, starting in the bottom left, we have our standard device, which has a self-cleaning face. All of our ultrasonic sensors do. We offer a foam face for dusty applications, which allows more signal to be passed through. Uh, we have flanged options, either a PTFE uh, faced food grade flange for chemical or hydrocarbon uh, compatibility, uh, which provides a Teflon layer and perfects the protects the face of the transducer from any chemical attack. And then we just have a standard general purpose flange uh, for any process connection uh, standoff type mounting. Okay, looking at our current transducer uh, product offering, we have the STH, the XRS5, uh, different approvals on the STH, and you can see the different temperature ratings, uh, the XPS 10, 15, and 30, and all their different approval areas, and where the different beam angles, ranges, uh, all come into play. So just to give you an idea of which transducer might be most suitable for your application, kind of a quick little chart showing the different uh, characteristics and how you can easily select your transducer to meet your application needs. Okay, again, that self-cleaning face, uh, very popular on all of our ultrasonic units. Uh, you can see the material shedding off, uh, whether it's solids or liquids applications, uh, keeps the sensor nice and clean, maintenance free, and has been a great advantage for us over many, many decades of level measurement.